Once we know the shapes that we have are polygons, we can classify the polygon as either a convex polygon or a concave polygon. So the first definition is convex, the second one's concave. And a convex polygon. So let's look at this pentagon over here. This pentagon has this shaded area as its interior. If we extend this si each side of the polygon infinitely in either direction, so if we turn the sides, which are line segments, into lines, then the line should not pass through the polygon. So we turn the line segments into lines, extending them. We'll make sure you do that for every line segment. Notice how none of the blue lines pass through the shaded red space. This means that this is a convex polygon. If your polygon is not convex, then it's called concave. For example, let's look at this polygon. We have, it, we have our shaded red interior. When we extend the lines, so those are fine so far. We're still doing okay. But then we hit these sides. Now notice how this part right here travels through the shaded red. So that means we have a concave polygon. And one way to remember the difference in terms is to think how concave, it's caving in on itself. So see how this angle right here is caving in on the polygon? Okay, if you feel comfortable with those definitions, try example two. Look at the polygons below and determine which ones are concave and which ones are convex. Pause the video and then restart when you're ready to see your solution. To determine which ones are concave and which ones are convex, we want to extend each line. So we see that this first one is convex. But when we move on to the lightning bolt, we see that side passes through. We only need to see one side that passes through. So now this shape is concave. I'm going to pause the video real quick, go through the other solutions, and then restart it when I'm ready to show you those. Thus, we should see that the red shapes are all convex. Their sides do not pass through the interior when turned into lines. And the blue shapes are all concave. They have at least one side that, when extended, will pass through the interior. Next, we'll talk about naming polygons. We'll do that in the next video. If you're ready to go on to that, please do. If not, stop the videos and review what is still causing you problems.